Hi, I'm the Alloy Geek. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to sort aluminum alloys with a handheld XRF just like this one. Now, there's a couple of methods that we would typically use to sort aluminums. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at heavy elements and then we're gonna look at light elements. And the bonus to this video is we're gonna take a look at that proprietary and patented brand new aluminum application that PSYOPS has in this PSYOPS X550 handheld XRF. Now this XRF here is capable of seeing light elements. The heavy beam, of course, is only gonna look at heavy elements. It's not gonna look at light elements. The light beam will only look at light elements, but there is an aluminum app where there is a light element beam that shoots first, and that's the, where, where the patent is, and that is going to give us a very speedy sort for our aluminum alloys. And I'm gonna show you exactly why that has some advantages. So let's take a look at some of these aluminum alloys. I've got the PSYOPS X550, it's all powered up. You're gonna see a cord here. That's not necessary. I just have it there to show you guys the screen. So that way you'll be able to see exactly what we're doing. So the first thing I want to do here is take you through what some of these alloys are, and we'll do that as we go through them. But you'll notice I also also have this here. This is a piece of 6061 extrusion and you can see that the surface has got some crud on it as well. So that's a really important thing to look for because this is more of a real world application. I'm going to show you that the aluminum app by PSYOPS does that sort just fine with light elements. So in front of me here I have a bunch of aluminum alloys. I've got everything from the 1000 series aluminum over here which you can see says 1100 on there. That's commercially pure aluminum all the way up to a 7075 aluminum which is an aero space grade of aluminum. Now, I can test all of these with both method, methods, and each method is gonna give us some different results. So first, uh, let's take a look at our analyzer here. I'm gonna show you the screen, and um, we're gonna just start in the normal alloy mode. So I'm gonna select the alloy mode, and this is how typical XRF is gonna sort aluminum. And even if I run into something like a 304 piece of stainless steel, just with a couple seconds of analysis, something like a 304 stainless steel piece can be easily identified and sorted with those heavy elements. So let's set that aside. Now, even something like this 6061 aluminum here can be easily sorted. So I just ran the analyzer for a couple of seconds and you can see that 6061 aluminum is really easy to see with handheld XRF without having to do light element capability. And you'll see on the screen that LE, that means light elements, that kind of is a good indicator that you are in the mode where you're only looking at heavy elements and you haven't engaged that light element beam yet. So if I go back on the 6061 now and I hold the trigger down, eventually you're gonna see switching beams up here. And now when you see that, you're gonna switch over and start looking at light elements. And you're gonna see the magnesium and silicon um, start to populate. And so, and that's exactly what we see and we still have a great grade match. Even on this material, it doesn't have a perfect surface finish. So to demonstrate the rest of what's going on today, just because I don't have scrap pieces of all the alloys, but I do have reference materials and some materials that I've received from um, industry, I like to call this one my Batman sample, but we'll get there soon. So, okay, let's first start with 1100. Now 1100, when we test this alloy, we're gonna just shoot it for just a second, okay? And what does the analyzer say? It says it's 6063, but we know it's 1100 aluminum. It's because we're not looking for light elements yet, and the analyzer is just a little confused. Now if I go back on that 1100, and I continue to hold the, hold the trigger down, right? Eventually we're gonna switch beams, and we're gonna pick up 1100 as soon as that light element beam kicks in. Now, that's exactly what we wanna see, and that's expected for most handheld XRFs on the market. So, I'm gonna go through some other ones here. Alloys like 2024, we're just gonna use the heavy beam. We got that one right. We have, we're pretty much looking for copper in this one and some other elements. Um, 3003 aluminum is next. This is the most common produced aluminum in the world. And this is just manganese and aluminum. It's essentially pure aluminum with some manganese. How about an alloy like 3105, right? Okay, so we were able to identify that right away, just as heavy beam only, right? So you're able to identify a lot of these aluminums with just the heavy beam only, and you can do so really quickly. But where do we run into trouble? This is 5086, okay? So you'll see, we read that as 3105. Why is that? Let's take a look at the elements and we'll just hold the analyzer for a little bit longer until we heat, see the switching beams up here. Okay, we switch the beams over. I'm only gonna run it for a second because that's all we need to get this grade match right. And now we're at 5086. And you can see um, 5086, this sample is gonna need that light beam in order to sort. And this is where you can run into some trouble when you're sorting aluminums. This is just a redundant 6061 here. Let's shoot this 6262, okay. 
And 6262 has bismuth and lead in it, and that's an easy alloy to identify with handheld XRF as well. Now, this is a 7075 alloy. This is an alloy that has some other heavy element um, capability to it. So I can see that real quickly with just the heavy beam. So most of the alloys can be sorted with a handheld XRF with just the heavy beam. And, but you can go one step further now. So if I go into the analyzer and I go back to, see these, these are my apps. This is the app screen. I'm gonna go down to this aluminum and I'm gonna select that. Now I'm only looking for aluminum alloys. So if I shoot this 304 stainless steel sample, um, you're able to see the analyzer gives you an error that says, hey, this is not a, uh, an aluminum sample. So how about this 6061 aluminum? You know, we're shooting a light beam first with this aluminum app, and you can see that it nails the great identification right away, even with a poor surface. How about that 1100 versus, remember last time we got this one wrong, right? We said that this one was 6063 first with the heavy beam. We nailed 1100 the first time. How about something like this 2024 aluminum? Now this alloy can sometimes be a multiple match here, grade match. You can see that it's matched to multiple um, things. And I've got a match to two different alloys, but we're still a really high match for 2024 aluminum. So that's what this little tab here does. I can compare with other chemical results. So how about 3003 aluminum? Okay, you can see, really easy to see that. Now, 3003 has two sister alloys that I don't have with me on the show today. I'll do it in another show. That is, uh, 3004 and 3005. Now you can see how close we are to 3004 and 3005. So we can actually select those alloys and take a look. Um, what we're looking for is magnesium in these alloys and that's what we don't see. And that's why the analyzer is saying, hey, this is 3003 because we're looking for a magnesium content variation um, that would put this in those ranges for those other alloys. 3105, we were able to get with the heavy beam only. So let's take a look at it here. In just a couple of seconds, we're able to get 3105, no problems. How about 5050? 52. The heavy element beam identifies this grade on pretty much the chrome only until um, you get the light element beam to kick in. But here we're able to identify um, the grade properly and we're able to look at the chrome and we're able to get the magnesium number in just a couple of seconds. That's lightning fast. Now here was a pitfall for us. This was that 5086 sample. If you're familiar with aluminum, this one has some close elemental grades to it. So let's see, one second analysis, we're able to get 5086 really quickly. We have those light elements, the silicon and magnesium levels, they read just fine. And we're even, even able to see other things like chrome, vanadium, and titanium um, in those alloys. Lastly, I wanna just shoot this 7075 sample just for a peace of mind that this analyzer is gonna identify all of our grades. And you can see there that 7075 is easily sortable with this aluminum app. But you're able to see that in maybe about a half a second with the PSYOPS X550, you're able to grade match and identify virtually all of these alloys here. And you don't have that question mark of, am I really sorting as much as I can? So I hope you learned something today. There's a lot of great information in this video about the alloys and how to sort them and what you need. If you have any additional questions, feel free to comment down below. Always make sure to change those XRF windows. I'll leave a link above how to change the XRF window on the PSYOPS X550. And of course, you can find more windows on alloygeek.com. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.